How about that? Uh, what we can also do is to add a bit of variation, so give it 20% and now it's fragmenting not uh, at a straight line, it's more random. Uh, I'll just uh, save the project and come right back. Alright, um, so as you can see, it is it is now fragmenting, but uh, it's not as random as we want it to be. So we are going to add a bit of turbulence to the particles. Make a p pass node and drag the particles into the group. Give it a wind node. And we can just use the null object. Zero strength and uh, 1200 in turbulence. Structure size 30. Let's just try that. See how it looks. Um, I think the structure size is not big enough. Put it up to 90. No, not big enough. I think we'll have to take the structure size up to at least 400 and give this give it a turbulence of 1600. Let's try that. Let's try giving it a frequency of 7, see what happens then. Oops. That's better. We'll need to take take the structure size down, so set it to two hundred sixty. Alright, that looks good. Um, we'll have to give the particles a, sl a uh, um, slower, a faster death. So, lifespan 30 frames. Let's see how that is. Alright, nice. That looks good. Okay, time to animate the camera. So, give it uh, set the frame frame time to 140, and on the threshold, just right click animation, show F curve, just zoom out a bit, select both keyframes, and drag it out to. Let's say 30. Mm. I forgot something. On the Pedro, we will have to give it a longer life. So remove, click remove, go into top, right click. Let's say now, objects, thinking particles, particle draw, right click, okay, right click while holding control down. Not, no, don't right click, just regular click while holding control in. Okay. A 
as you can see it starts at 30 frames okay we are actually going to animate the camera backwards so uh, what we'll do first is just create a camera and take this box right here go to 140 Select the camera, coordinates zero zero, and just make it come into the, make it centered in the camera. Uh, go to one hundred and forty, and just give it a keyframe, and we want it to, let's see, at zero, it should be around here oh I've been <laughs> this I've done, done it all wrong create the camera go to zero 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 center it in the screen keyframe go to 140 Oh, not 140. Go to 110 and just make a keyframe here. Just uh, where did the text go? Right at uh, 65. No, let's say 75. Take the camera closer. Make a keyframe. Let's see how that looks. All right, not too bad. Still think it's a bit off, but uh, yeah, select the two last keyframes, no yes, the two last keyframes and drag it so that the last keyframe is at 100 there we go also, um, drag this key, the last keyframe, no, the first keyframe back to 20 Let's try 30. Select this keyframe at 65 and just tilt it. It's just a matter of making it making it fit. Okay, go to 120. Just tilt it. 140. Tilt it. Okay. Go to zero and just zoom out a bit, and uh, yeah, that looks good. I'll just save it and come right back. <laughs> 